Hi everyone, and welcome to my channel where we're going to learn a lot about cognitive psychology and neuroscience, which I call performance-driven neurology. How to really get better in life in any area by just using our brain, something that we've all have. Now, let's talk a little bit about, I found myself not too many years ago wanting to find the right partner, wanting to find someone that that really meshed with my belief system and my lifestyle. And, and so I was at a bar one night, great place to start, right? And uh, there was a gentleman sitting there and, and we were having a conversation and, and um, he said, well, what are you doing here? And I said, well, you know what? I'm, 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 I'm looking to find somebody to, um, you know, to, to grow with and to date with. And he goes, at a bar? And I was, I was young, and, uh, and I said, uh, well, what do you do? And he says, well, I'm an architect. And I said, really? And I said, well, you know, are, are you, uh, do you have a, yeah, I'm very happily married, and I just happen to be on the road, and I'm supposed to meet a client here. And I said, well, you know, how, could you give me any tips on finding the right partner? Because it seemed to be going through a lot of experiences, and uh, none of them are long-lasting. And he goes, well, let me ask you this. If I was gonna build you a home, would you just give me the money and then say, let me know when it's done? And then keep your fingers crossed that it was everything you wanted? And I go, of course not. And he said, well, what would you do? And I said, well, I'd, I'd tell you how big I wanted the house and what kind of rooms I wanted. I'd lay out the kitchen and, and he goes, what else? And I go, and I talk about the yard. And, and he goes, why would you go into all that detail? And I said, because I'm going to live there. And he said, and you wouldn't do the same thing? You wouldn't design a partner first? And it was just like the lights went on. I was just showing up with my fingers crossed, basically showing up in life, hoping that maybe I'm at the right time, at the right moment, and I'll meet that perfect someone. Well, after a while, you begin to see that's a little romantic. There really isn't that perfect someone. Well, when people say that, let me tell you why they say that, because they haven't found them yet. Or they've settled for something less, recognizing, well, if it doesn't exist, why continue? So what I did was really interesting. Based on his suggestions, I wrote down 10 qualities and characteristics of what I was looking for in a partner someone to hang with and, you know and there were real simple things in the beginning like is she gonna like the outdoors or the indoors does she like the you know to go out to theater or not does she like sports um, what's her spirituality I mean how, how does she feel about meeting new people what type of uh, values does she have and I just started jotting these things down things that meshed with what I wanted. And the other thing too was adventure and curiosity. Someone who was interested in doing more than just the same old, same old. I challenge any of you out there who would like to be in a situation with someone that really flows for you. You don't have to work at. I won't sure there's always compromise, but you know what? It was only like a couple months later and I found this person. And after we were married a year, we had a little conversation around the fact that she had mentioned that she had written down, I think it was 15 qualities and characteristics she was looking for. And I met all but two. I missed out on height and age. And interestingly enough, she'd missed, I, on my list, I'd only missed by two and that was height and age. <laughs> but you know what? It's never made a difference in our relationship because we had the values, we had the adventure. We also liked the predictability too in a relationship. But what I would encourage with you, no matter what area of your life you're interested in growing in, get specific on it because that allows the brain now to filter out everything else that doesn't work. 
You know, instead of hoping that it maybe will work out or you'll be able to change the person, always remember that the only person that can change anything is the person looking out of your eyes right now. And that's the only person that can change is you. So stop trying and start defining what it is that you're looking for and allow your brain now to bring it to your front door. When you hear that knock, make sure you open it up. Have a great rest of your day.